What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here on one of the most important streets in Los Angeles, Wilshire Boulevard. Designed to be the boulevard that quite literally took Los Angeles into the future as one of the great world cities. It's full of high rises and important religious buildings, and it's got a rich history beyond Miracle Mile from the city to the sea. This is Wilshire Boulevard. Let's get into it. Wilshire Boulevard is the closest thing LA has to a metropolitan main street. It's 16 miles long and it slices down right about the geographic center of Los Angeles. And it's more urban and dense than most streets in LA. In some ways, Wilshire mirrors Los Angeles, but that's because Los Angeles has always mirrored Wilshire Boulevard. Starting with the diversity in architecture, people, and environment, the areas down by the beach feel a lot different than those by the LA Country Club. Into the Wilshire Corridor, through Koreatown, right into downtown Los Angeles. So how did Wilshire Boulevard come to be? Well, the modern day Wilshire Boulevard came from Henry Gaylord Wilshire, who was an entrepreneur, a socialist, and a late 19th and early 20th century huckster who had a bevy of health products. In 1895, along with his brother and dad, Wilshire bought a triangle shaped parcel just west of downtown, which he subdivided, ran a road right in the middle of, which he called Wilshire Boulevard. Wilshire envisioned a stylish new residential district off of Wilshire Boulevard, which came to fruition when the LA Times powerful publisher Harrison Gray Otis built a mansion. When refrigerated rail cart tycoon Edwin Earl built a place right next to Otis, Wilshire's place as the elite place to live in Los Angeles was cemented. In the 1920s, with downtown's congestion and the car starting to take hold in Los Angeles, visions as an alternative retail district along Wilshire Boulevard started to materialize with the famous Bullocks Building, built in 1929. The Bullocks wasn't just renowned for its beautiful architecture, which kicked off an Art Deco renaissance in Los Angeles. It also was very car-centric and included robust parking, rare at the time, but that led to developer A.W. Ross incorporating those strategies and more when creating Miracle Mile in the 1930s. After that, it was clear that Wilshire was one of the most important streets in Los Angeles, and they extended it to the east, building a causeway over MacArthur Park. MacArthur Park was originally called Westlake Park, and that park was fed by natural springs that were adjacent to the La Brea Tar Pits, a reminder of Los Angeles' prehistoric past. And those tar pits and springs were extremely important to the indigenous tribes who actually traversed the area that became Wilshire Boulevard for thousands of years prior. And that same footpath worn by the indigenous people was called El Camino Viejo by the Spanish settlers, explorers, and conquistadors who came in after. So Wilshire Boulevard, the boulevard that reflects Los Angeles, or is it the other way around? From prehistoric times to the future of today, Wilshire Boulevard has always been very important to Los Angeles. So Wilshire Boulevard really is one of the most important streets in LA history, and it really is the grand concourse of Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.